In the previous episode, we took a throwing axe to the face but survived the battle, completed many quests for cash, and hired a lot of companions. Now this map is a lot smaller, so they're going to have less room to maneuver. I think what we should do is focus on their melee cav, actually. Their melee cav seem to be doing a lot of work. So let's try and take some of these guys out. Oh man, they took a lot of our guys out. A lot of our cav just went down. Yeah, it doesn't really make sense to chase because these guys are either keeping pace with us or outrunning us slightly. So it doesn't make sense to waste our time doing that. Let's go after the archers. They seem to be kind of in their own little world. Oh, a lot of them are running now. We just took out like three within us, I don't know, one and a half seconds. I think that spooked him. Yeah, they're all running now. Now don't run too fast. We want your horses. We gotta make that money. Oh, they're they're just a little bit too fast for us. Oh, we got one of them at least. Right, one guy left. We'll finish that off. All right, let's see the damage. So three people went down. Yeah, that initial clash, we lost three cab there. And we didn't lose anybody though. They're just injured. That was pretty lucky. Trumper still ended up getting a kill and Gilles Sir got one kill as well. And we lost one of our low tier guys. And for these mercenary troops, we're going to go down the middle tree, which ends up in a tier five. They're not very good, but they're slightly better than the other ones. So I guess we'll take that. And not much by way of upgrades, that's fine. We've got a pretty big hurting penalty again. Let's go sell some stuff at Sabir. And we'll get 982 from prisoners. And we'll probably get maybe 10, 15 grand from these. Let's see. Yeah, 4,600. It's not bad at all. Actually, we should top up on stuff. Sweet. 4,800. And we'll get a little bit of money from this caravan. There we go. 3,200 there. So we're at 17K. We're in pretty good shape. We've got plenty of room for more companions. So I think we should definitely do that. Especially now that our, our cash is doing so well. So let's take in Jeddah Tragum. 1,500. Not bad. You know, one thing I did forget to do with these infantry, they also have where are you they also have throwing so we should probably give them some throwing weapons and we've got one or two stacks for each we can actually take one more oh not the cav oops let's just make sure we got three infantry yeah they all got throwing weapons we've got enough for one more infantry as far as throwing weapons go i mean we've got more pole arms so it's not a big deal if they don't have the throwing weapons but i think we should probably let's take one more so let's pick up me and nora 1500 again we can afford it there we go so she's good to go and we've got no more throwing weapons but we can either craft some or we can buy some but i think we'll save our money we'll just use what we've got and then at some point we'll make our own there we go we got four frontliners 10 cavalry and then whatever other whatever troops we got there and since we're already up here let's just stop off at Varnavapol just so we can discover those people we don't need to do anything else there and then we'll also do the same thing at Balgard. we want to uncover all the people so we know where they're at in the you know later stages oh these raiders <laughs> the ones that picked on us earlier they don't want to pick us on us anymore oh wow that group got destroyed. Oh, that was ours. That's the guy we're supposed to be protecting? I thought we finished. Yeah, I thought we finished the quest. Okay, we did. But they got destroyed. They were only paying us for the trip before. So I don't really feel responsible for that. Now, William the Bastard is the king. And good thing he's still alive. That is a big dude, man. Look at that. The armor he's got too. Pretty serious stuff. So let's go ahead and talk to him about being a mercenary. 218 a week is not bad at all. Yeah, we'll take that. Now, we're at war because of this mercenary contract we're at war with the north we don't necessarily have to stay here we could go back to the homeland and do some stuff there we're not really in a good enough position to take big battles fighting these big ones doesn't really help us much we're just mostly just going to lose so let's go back we'll take out some of these smaller parties basically the ones from calradia at war there's a lot of different parties that are added to the game and actually, since we're here, I think we went to Carbanseth already. Let's go to Dunglinus, uncover all those people. Same thing in Maranath. And we can pick off some small groups while we're on our way. Doubt we'll get much. Yeah, I was going to say, no injuries from that. And we'll get three. We'll take three influence from that. A little bit of loot. Three influence is basically 600 in ours. It's like three days worth of wages for a battle that took us half a second. Plus the prisoners. And let's go back to the home, home territory. Now, that's an interesting battle. It's only 20 of them. Now, it looked like he turned to attack us. Uh, interesting. So we've got the the villagers and the militia here. You know, let's do it. We'll let these guys go ahead. Is that guy? This guy's wearing a bra and he's got boobs. What's up with that? That's not showing us. Yeah, the villagers are men with... I, I, I don't know, they're cross-dressers? Not a social commentary on that. I don't judge, but uh, just a little weird to see it in a medieval game. So let's go ahead and set up 
We want our cavalry in the back. We want our archers in group five, kind of like how we were doing the previous one. Infantry are going to be up here. So there's four here and we got a bunch of cav. We got to get into the correct where are you down here and then we're mounted as well. So we'll just put our main guy in, in the lead of that one. All right, so we should be good. Now they're actually retreating, so we're going to have to go after them. I, I guess that is right. I, we attack them technically. All right, here come the peasants. We'll let the peasants go on and get slaughtered. Have fun, peasants. Yeah, there's that crossdresser right here. So our cab took out their cab. Let's actually swing them around and get this other side as well. Let's get our infantry up. Our archers are in a good enough spot. I don't think we need to mess with them too much. Let's just give these guys the charge command. And they've got one cab back here. Looks like he might be stuck on something. He should be charging us, but he's not... Yeah, let's go take him out. Actually, we're going to want to do this anyways. We can get some decent armor from this guy. All right, Hugh Janus getting some damage in there. There we go. We got him out of here. And we are starting to lose some people. We got to get up that hill. That's a pretty brutal hill versus archers. Man, there's a lot of dead people. Oh, there we go. Hugh, Hugh Janus getting in there. Oh, Anas just killed, just killed their noble. Just ran him through and through. Sweet. So we did lose a few people, but they lost their noble. And we didn't lose any companions. Uh, Mia and Nora went down, but didn't die. That's good. And then Hugh with three kills. That's really strong. I'm kind of tempted to upgrade these guys. I feel like we need a little bit better on our shield wall, but maybe not yet. Yeah, see, we'll get some good upgrades here. So we'll get a little bit better helmet. Makes us look a little more cone headish, And then a lot of gear for mostly our front line. Yeah. So Hugh got a bunch of stuff. Now, unfortunately, that's one of the minor faction clans. So that guy's just going to regenerate. They'll spawn a new noble to take his place within a day or less. Doesn't really mean anything, but all right, we'll, we'll take the battle. And we'll put one into Vigor. We'll put another into Stuart. And we need one more. We'll have that capped out. Level 50 Stuart. We're going to take the plus two XP for all troops. I think that'll be a little more useful. And we're not overburdened. We don't have a hurting penalty, so there's no real need to sell stuff yet. I would like to keep a lot of this just so we can start. We can hire as many people as we can and have at least a little something. This isn't good gear, but it's better than no gear, right? So we'll hang on to some of this for sure we're going to want to keep some of these range weapons we don't have oh man i think we should probably stick with the crossbows i i do think the bows are better but the crossbows fit the style a bit more you know for a norman i feel like a lot of the normans used crossbows i could be wrong on that but i think so let's go hunt we got to find something to kill here and oh there's some barbarian troops that should be an easy target uh, maybe, maybe not they're really fast They've only got one cavalry. How are they so fast? What's going on here? Now, the Northern Empire, they elected a new monarch. Oh, no. <laughs> Wait, so does that mean who's their king? Yeah, he's not in there anymore. Oh, Henry IV died. That sucks. We didn't even get to interact with him. Yeah, he died in battle. 1084. Oh, Pope Nicholas died too. <laughs> oh, this is what happened in the last one. Everybody died way too fast. William the Bastard's still there. Harold Sigurdsson's still there. Constantine the 10th is still there. That's good. Suleiman, Harold Godwinson, and Ibn al Hawak. So only two of them died, actually. That's not too bad. We're not done with one year of the game yet, though. So obviously it's still early. Now, these guys have only eight troops, but look at their power level. It's pretty close to what ours is. So I'm wondering if these guys are really, really high tier. I mean, I see some low tier, I think. No, they may all be high tier, actually. So this could be a great way for us to get gear, if that's the case. All right, let's send our cav against theirs. Archers, move! Archers on the hill. Oh, they're stabbing him. They're getting him. Oh, they took his horse out already. Beautiful. All right, let's back out. Oh, they're actually they're throwing spears at him. Yeah, we'll get a running start on this guy. Let's get bunched up. It would be nice to not let him get to his line. All right, he's going to defend. No, he's going to get knocked down. All right, I, he's a little close to their main line. We don't really want to mess with that too much. So let's keep our cab on the flank and get them ready. I have a feeling this is going to be a tough battle, so we need to be ready for it. All right, they're coming in. Let's get our let's get our main line back just a little bit. Oh, we took somebody out already, and some shields. All right, shield wall. Let's charge in with the cav. By the time they get there, we should be in good shape. We took out another one. Rain and arrows. We got a big cavalry charge coming from behind. They don't even see it coming. Nice. The cab did good. Looks like one of them did get knocked off the horse. Alright, we just 
completely devastated these guys. So we did have one injury, extra large, didn't die though. And once again, our infantry did quite well. It looked like those javelins were really hitting their mark. Yeah, the, everybody here is getting ton of levels in, in javelins. So Hugh with two kills, and then even the, the cab got a little bit at the end. So 7.7 .7 influence for a tiny battle, we'll take the cash. Not quite as good as I was thinking it would be, actually. But there's still some upgrades in there, so can't complain. All right, let's look for our next target. I think we're just going to attack anything we can get our hands on at this point. Yeah, these are easy. Yeah, our goal at this stage, we're making good money in the mercenary contract, but the problem is once we get rid of the mercenary contract, we're not going to have that, so we need to have some other form of passive income. Workshops, maybe a couple caravans, something along those lines would be good. And there's a quest for the uh, bounty hunters capture, so let's go do that. And we may be able to double dip this. Where is it? It's up there. Let's see if there might be a quest at this village. Nope, there is not. Whoa, that's a big party of deserters. They don't really want to fight us, though. So that's good. And we got there just in time. We can do it all without having to wait a full day. So let's get our infantry. We want to prioritize the infantry because they're going to have the skills on foot. Let's get those four. We'll use some of our cav as well. Man, it is raining really hard. So we'll just give them the charge command. I think they'll be okay. Yeah, we may need to babysit a little bit. Yeah, we don't want to get shot in the face with crossbows, so let's go distract these guys. Alright, group two. Let's actually they they should be able to handle these guys. Let's let them do it. We we do want these all of these guys to get some XP, so. Alright, there's a pretty big group here. Let's let everybody let's let them all catch up. Alright, we're throwing spears at them. They're gonna head over here. Let's actually go shield wall. There we go. Hugo getting a stab in the face. Oh, point blank. He got impaled with the javelin, point blank. Wow, they destroyed that guy's shield. That was way easier than I thought it was going to be. Oh, there's a guy right here. You know, we might want to get some armor from this guy. Let's see if we can take him out. Or we're going to get beat. Guy does not want to go down. There we go. Here we go. Alright, let's charge everybody in. Oh, man. Knocked us down on a one hit. Uh, this guy's got a really long spear. Let's distract him at least. Oh man, stabbed him in the back. That was really good. We didn't lose anybody. Eight and a half influence, 5.9 renown. We got, I don't know, three grand for getting this guy free. Almost everybody did really well. Geosir was the only one that didn't get a kill, but lots of skill, so everybody got a piece of this. Here we go. Let's upgrade these low tier guys. We'll probably just stop them at tier three, just so we're not ballooning our wages too much. And we got some really good armor. Look at that. Western chainmail. That's going to be an upgrade for sure. Oh no, it's what we already have. Well, it'll be an upgrade for somebody. Yeah, there's a lot. Lot of a lot of gear getting worn here look at that looking sharp and we also got the 3k for that so 21 grand in the bank oh these guys are slowed down we could probably take that oh <laughs> well we could take it but i was not expecting this many people oh and it's all cav whoa that's a lot of cav so they have 20 no they have like more than 30 cavalry well at the very least it'll be a fun battle uh let's Fight for the top of this hill. And we'll probably dismount our cab. I'm not sure yet. Let's get everybody up here first. Yeah, they can they can still kind of charge us from here, but we'll see. I, honestly, I don't care if... Oh, no, no, no. I don't really care if our, um, if our archers get killed. They're replaceable. The cab, I really don't want to have to keep replacing. I don't want you guys to die before we get into a, like a good battle. If it's a good battle versus a big noble, okay, no big deal. Kind of comes with the territory, but battles like this... Mm, I don't really want to lose people. So let's counter charge these guys. We still don't have Couch Lance ability, unfortunately. But, oh man. Yeah, they're going to take out a horse. Alright, our shield wall is holding against their first charge. Looks like a lot of these guys are low tier. Alright, they're blocking everything. There we go. Now we're getting hit. Two down. Alright, 
right, let's let's head back up. Looks like their line did meet ours, and they still have a ton of cavalry. We didn't take too many out on that last charge. All right, here they come. Oh yeah, beautiful. We can intercept the charge. So they're stuck in our line. This easy picking. Yeah, we gotta reduce reduce their numbers. So many cavalry, man. This is crazy. All right, our line looks to be holding pretty well. Let's go get a few stabs in. We should probably charge the archers too. They don't have a formidable force, but you know, they're easy pickings. They're down here by themselves. Yeah, we'll get some crossbows out of it. Nice. So that's all their archers down. Let's get back up the hill. Now we're going to charge them in. We have numbers advantage now. Looks like we knocked a lot of them out. Oh my. <laughs> that horse went flying. Man, that thing got spit out. All right, are they? They might be running here. And I think they are. So let's let's actually rush them. Hey, we don't want these guys to get out. Man, I don't know how you're running with that giant javelin sticking out of your arm. That thing's got away a lot. Ooh, good stab. These guys, I've noticed they're not really killing our guys, but they are hitting our horses pretty well. Oh, he's he's down. Somebody's gonna get him. No. Alright, let's check the damage. We lost one, two injured. Cletus Clyde Jr. went down. Didn't die, though. We've actually been getting pretty lucky with this. I'm surprised nobody's died yet with the amount of people that went down in battle. So, for almost 15 influence for that. That was a huge battle. Yeah, extra large with three. Infantry all got a piece. Chumber with two. And we should get a ton of gear from this. Ooh, barbarian pikemen. Are we allowed to use these? No, I guess they're not really mercenary. They are more like bandit troops or like one of the special troops. And the chosen slayer will pass. They look cool though. And let's make sure we're taking the best prisoners. There we go. So our, our low tier are starting to work their way up to tier three. So we've got a decent force. We did lose one of our archers. Oh no, we didn't. Just injury. That's right. And we got seven chargers out of that. That's pretty good. Those are really good horses. And we did finally get an upgrade on our main horse. So we reach what what are we riding? 68. So we we were able to take the hunter. Hopefully we can keep up with people now. Okay, Mia, I don't know what's going on here. That's <laughs> that's definitely not very good armor. Is there anything better we can throw on? Yeah, it, just because it's got better leg armor, I guess that's why it's throwing it on there. But I'd rather have body or a little bit of body and a little bit of arm armor. So at least now you're not like completely naked. There we go. Level 25 and one handed. We will. Yeah, we should take the basher. It's not really good on the AI because they don't use bash. I usually take uh, wrapped handles, but basher is pretty good for the player. And we're not going to be using swinging pull arms. We'll just be doing the, the thrust damage. All right, let's head back, get rid of these prisoners, and we will. We'll rinse and repeat. We're making pretty good money now. 1200 We can definitely afford to take some people. I don't know if we want to until we get a couple workshops. We can take... Yeah, we can take two workshops. These gang alleys are losing value every day. Yeah, they're not doing too well. I guess maybe those places are getting raided a lot or something. The prosperity is dropping. So 1300 That's huge. That's a lot for prisoners. All right, let's pick up Nico D'Angelo, 787. And he's going to be joining us on the front line as an infantry. Yeah, it really likes this Batanian Savage armor. Not really recommended here. Here. Yeah, I guess it actually is. Everything else we have is almost the same. I do like the cheap padded. Let's go with that one. There we go. We can we can wear it in the civilian setting so we don't have to look at it anymore. So it takes us up to five infantry on the companion side. And again, we could take more. Let's save up. Let's see what it's going to cost us to buy a workshop here. 17 grand. Actually, we could afford that. I don't think we should, though, because there's only 2000 prosperity here. It's going to be pretty bad. Let's go see what the high prosperity fief is here, which is Ox Hall. Let's head up to Ox Hall. Now, if we can buy it right now, I think we should probably take it because we are still making money on our mercenary contract. We can go pretty low. So linen weavery. What else? Two linen weavery and one brewery. Let's do the linen weavery and switch it to something else. One of them. I'm thinking probably wine press since there's a decent amount of grapes. Or actually, we are getting clay. We could do pottery. Let's buy it. Nope, too much money. All right, we got to wait a little bit. Now, I don't know if we can take this on. That's a lot. Yeah, they're chasing us. So they definitely think they've got the advantage. And they're a little faster than us. But I think we'll get in town before. Or we could help this guy fight. Nope, they're going to back. Are they going to fight the villagers? No, they just want to get out. We can take some of these other ones out. 
let's take out the madmen. Now I'm wondering if all the deserters are on the same one or if each faction has got their own because there was a Sturgeon deserter and a different one. Actually, they've got 17 prisoners. We should be able to catch these guys. Yeah, there's Kazate deserter there too. All right, we've got a little bit bounce of power. It's not that much in our favor. They must have good cav. Oh, they only have two. They've got two Drushnik, so they're pretty good. They've got a pair of horse archers. So let's go harass them. I don't think our, our five or six archers are going to be able to deal with them. We're poking him to death. Poke, poke, poke. He doesn't seem to want to... <laughs> I was going to say, he doesn't seem to want to change or block anything, but he did at the end. All right, they're going to come out again. We'll run our cav line right into him again. Nope, they're backing. He's almost down. There we go. I was going to say, he's really close. All right, let's go ahead and get our, our troops up here. We're taking some damage, but let's, uh, let's get up the hill. We can come down off the hill and try and attack that horse archer in the back. Here we come out of the woods. That guy's probably got a really good bow, so let's not mess with him too much. Oh yeah, everybody poke him. Poke, poke, poke. Oh man, he, he's hitting our guys. Alright, we gotta take him out. We can't let this guy on the loose. There we go, we got him. Soon you got him. It cost us one of our one of our uh, cavalry though. Hopefully survive. Let's take out this archer. Beautiful. They got nothing left. We can back out. Let's preserve our cavalry. Yeah, we'll post them up behind our archers. Well, they've actually got range. I'm surprised their javelins are going this far. Yeah, let's move our infantry up. See if we can entice them to charge. Yeah, there they go. Now they're actually half charging our archer line and half charging our infantry line. So let's get the cav involved again. And since they're split, we're going to just charge our infantry in. They're probably going to destroy our archers. If I had to guess. Oh, wow. Maybe not. Maybe not. Wow. Okay, so that wasn't nearly as bad. We did a good job on that one. Oh, you gotta be kidding. <laughs> Chad Steele died. Are you serious? I'm pretty sure you were the first one to die in the last series, too. Uh, well, maybe not the first one, but yeah, that's kind of funny, actually. Well, rip one of our calves. So Chad Steele died, and it looks like our front line are the ones that got most of the kills. Yeah. Infantry did one, so needed got one. But we'll take our 10 influence. That was a very costly battle. Now, they've got some troops that we're able to use, so we will take a lot of these. Yeah, these recruit guys we can take as well. Well, it's a lot of low tier, but it's better than, I guess, nothing. Now, do we want two-handers? These are basically shock troops. I don't know if we want those guys. And we could use a few more archers, actually. You know, let's just take let's take them all. Yeah, we need more ranged. Yeah, I know I just said we were going to keep our party small and, and wages low, but hard to pass up free troops, especially the low tier. They're not going to cost us a ton. Now, we are getting some pretty good gear off of this. One thing to keep in mind, we're not able to take gear off of dead people. That's one of the requirements. Everybody is gets buried in whatever it is they're wearing, so they do get buried with honors. So let's check and see what kind of upgrades we got here. We got a Sturgeon Lance. That's huge. We got a much better shield, really good horse armor. And actually, we pretty much changed everything. We just went from like a bandit up to like a legit mercenary. And let's see how things upgrade down the line. Yeah, he looks pretty good. And then it's all hand me down from there. Looking good. That was a lot of upgrades. So I know we lost somebody. That sucked. Bon voyage, Chad. But we can replace him pretty easily. Let's go do that right now. So let's take a look at Riddick the Hateful. 1900. We can afford it. And we've got some gear for you as well. I do like the look of this two handed axe, but we'll probably save that for one of our shark troops and we've got an iron broadsword so looking more like your ancestors like a viking more than a norman but i guess close enough and i just realized we locked his horse he's obviously going to be a, a calf so let's give him a horse got a rebel chaser so welcome to the party and let's keep moving we could uh wonder if we could take this fight i don't know yeah it looks like they're trying to run there are some parties in here some asteroid parties we should probably take wow these guys are tough they've only got one horse archer and six calf so i think this is manageable for us and for writing 75 we're like nomadic traditions we want the movement speed the pack animal carry capacity is okay since we're going to be carrying a lot of stuff but probably not necessary and then we'll put another point in a steward that caps us out and we should have no problem getting to level 100 so we can get that companion wage they've got some of those shock troops that the uh, mameluk axemen so that's kind of scary, but I think we, we could probably handle it if we play it a little more defensively. Now let's put Nico in his place and Riddick in his place. Yeah, we get a little more archers here this time. Alright, we for some reason drew the attention of their calves, so let's go deal some damage. I'm 
trying to hit him in his legs or his arms. I feel like we can get more damage that way, but not hard to aim. Ooh, we got him under the armor on that one. Archers are shooting. We should be good. Let's go harass the other side too. And we do have catch lance ability now. Not that we can use it much, especially in the snow. But once we get a little, little more skill and maybe a better horse, we should be able to do it. Oh, this guy took a huge hit. Right, let's keep on this guy. Right, we're poking him in the back of the head. We're probably annoying the crap out of this guy. There we go, we got him. Couch lance this guy. Oh, we missed. <laughs> Nice. Extra large got a kill on that. And they don't seem to want to charge in. Let's keep fighting their cab then if they want to let us, you know, it's like an 11 on 2. We'll take it. There we go. We got that kill too. That's going to force them in. Let's go take out their, in their uh, archers. Yeah, these guys have really good armor, so if we can get some of the kills here, that'd be really good. Nice, we got that one. Okay, they're grouping up. Let's get out. Oh, don't get stuck. Don't get stuck. Yeah, their infantry stalled for a sec. They're going back now. And we don't want to run across their infantry line because they look pretty intimidating. So here they come. Let's get our infantry ready. We'll give them the charge command because they are starting to load up on one of the flanks. Let's go ahead and charge our, in, our uh, cavalry as well. And we'll try and pick pick this cab off. Again, if we can get him down ourselves, we get to keep his gear. And that's going to be a huge, huge upgrade. Alright, we're getting there. Oh yeah, hit that tree. Nope, it's not going to hit. There we go, we got him. No losses. We've got pretty good at action on our cav. Chumper with two, Shalom with three. But it looks like we did most of it, which is fine. We wanted to get most of their armor, so that works out. Ten levels into writing. That's pretty good. And we'll take the prisoners. We do need to drop some off because we've been holding on to these guys for quite a while. Oh yeah, look at that. Master crafted southern scale over chain mail. We got two of those. Reinforced mail armor, we got two of those. And then a sleeveless mail armor, so we got one of those. And these helmets are pretty good looking. It's not as good as what we have, but we do have some upgrades. Yeah, we're starting to look like a legit champion now. Now, normally we would probably want to put this on our frontline infantry first, but I feel like the cav is probably a higher priority. So let's go through the cav first. All right, so we upgraded all of our cav first. Yeah, look at that. They look just like the guys we were killing, the horse archers, and then the rest can go to the infantry. And there's still some upgrades left. It didn't all just go to the cav. And for leadership, let's go to the plus two per day for every troop in the party. We could do the plus four, let's see, to tier one and tier two. It just don't think it's that big of a difference. I'd rather have the plus two for everybody. And then we'll take breeder because this gives us... Uh, actually, no, that only works for party leader. Yeah, we, we can't use either of these because it's not our, our main guy. Now, they did get five out somehow, but I think we'll be able to catch them. And yeah, let's just auto-resolve this. Not really any use doing that. And we need to get rid of prisoners. So let's go to Provend. Okay, these Batanian raiders, they're not scared of us, but they also don't want to fight. That's a good sign. So 1,500. And we've got some stuff on the miscellaneous tab, so we can actually sell that. And let's take the opportunity to top up on some stuff. We're going to need more supplies. I think we'll go maybe 20 of each. Well, they don't have everything, but we got most everything up and it's only going to cost us not even a thousand so we'll maintain the steward xp and it also gives us a trade so we can either go carry capacity or barter for, for safe passage kind of pointless i think the carry capacity is much better so that puts us at 5900 yeah it's pretty big especially when you have to lug around all this gear you know having the extra storage space helps a lot let's go see if we can find that other asteroid party that was really good yeah here they are we want all that gear right, let's go harass these guys Oh man, we got one tap. We got our couch lance going finally. But I'm also not opposed to just poking them 20 times. Oh, 
There we go. We got him. It's so hard to hit that couch lance sometimes. Oh, these guys are getting way out. What are you doing? Right, we need to get in there and distract. Yeah, let them give them a chance to meet up with their guys. Those two just went out all on their own for some reason. I don't know why. All right, they're backing out a little bit. Let's actually get them into shield wall. They should have a better chance there, and we can uh, couch lance this guy. Yeah, we should be able to run right over them with their cav. They've got very little left. Feels so good to couch land. Let's uh, let's charge them with our infantry. Oh man. We knocked him off the horse right into a, our buddy's uh, spear. We pushed him onto it. <laughs> I don't know what happened there. That was kind of cool. There's another one down. Yeah, our cav are going to basically look like asteroid cav at this point. Not that it's a bad thing. Their, their gear does look pretty cool. Oh, that's our own guy. Sorry, on us. And again, no losses. Not too hard of a battle. Q with three, that's not bad. But like I said, the most important thing is we are getting gear out of this. Look at that. That's a lot. And again, we'll upgrade our cav first. Man, that's a lot of upgrades. Pretty much everybody in the cav got upgrades. Nice, we can take a, a horse with a 90 riding? Yeah, or we've we've got 90 riding now. So we've got the Darshi horse, a little bit faster. All right, things are improving really fast. For 100 pole arm, we'll take hard knock. We don't plan on using it too much on foot. We'll probably go one-handed on foot. And we got a few things to pick here let's go level everybody up now they've got two people left let's just take them out and we can go drop stuff off and it didn't take us too long but we're already at 34 influence 